Howdy, y'all. How y'all doing today? I wanted to play a song today, but I also wanted to, uh, to, to mention something. I don't want this to be a sad video, but there is something that I, I've been, because I've been following all this stuff from uh, Gary Rossington dying and, you know, everybody talking about Leonard Skinner and what's going to happen, this, that, and the other thing, you know, and, and, and is it, you know, Judy and Dale and maybe Alan's uh, dad did that it's their decisions now and all that other stuff. So, um, you know, everything's up in the air, but I think, I think y'all, everybody might be missing something here. There is one dude who might be hurting a little bit, um, more than the rest of the folks in that band. There was, cause Ricky Medlock wasn't just the guitar player. He was also a childhood friend. So it's not, Ricky not only lost, you know, a bandmate, but he lost a, a friend from childhood. So this is like, you know, 70 years of, of being friends and it's like, or 60, whatever. I don't know when they met, but, you know, they grew up in the same same spot, you know. So, you know, they, they, he lost a, 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 a long a childhood friend and it's got to be tough on him too, you know. So, and, and I, I love Blackfoot and uh, there's a song... On, on an album they probably couldn't even put out today because it's called No Res Reservations, but uh, I think it was written by Shorty Medlock, so uh, got great pedigree. Oh, yeah. I forgot to get the words, so let, let's do that real quick because the words are, are simple, but uh, I'm a little bit weird sometimes, and you know how I get. And I can't remember crap, so you know. Let's see if we can uh, if we can uh, pull these up here real quick. Maybe we can uh, do Ricky Wright a little bit. Well, you know. So. Yeah, one of these bones won't be gone. Grab the guitar and I'll be gone. Yeah, you can count days I'm gone. You can coach and I'm on. You can hear the whistle go. Why do I have problems with this verse? And then a verse like with my olden, my olden shoes are worn, my olden clothes are torn. That one I can get right. My olden clothes are torn, my olden shoes are worn. And I hate, hate, and I hate to go home. So away, so away, so away. Hate to go home, so away. And you know me too. I also get the stage fright over here, so I apologize. And... I actually was playing this okay before. I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, I have chemo drugs that are running through me still, but uh, you know, I'm getting a little better, getting a little bit more uh, strength uh, as we go. Um, still losing power way too quick during the day. Uh, one or two o'clock, I'm starting to lose power. So, you know, um, like right after I do this, which is just crazy because I had a couple more things to do, but it starts feeling like a burden. Like, you know, it starts feeling like uh, I'm, I'm not actually getting through, and it's like I gotta uh, fight to get everything done, and uh, and I apologize because I really did. I really was playing this pretty good. I mean, it sounded good to me anyway, and it's sounding completely different now. So that that's why I apologize. One of these moments won't be long. The captain's gonna call me, and I'll be gone. Be 900 miles away from home. You can't tell the train I'm on. You can't tell the days I'm gone. You can hear the whistle blow. She goes by. She goes by. She goes by. You hear the whistle blow. She goes by. That's a little better. I don't remember the next verse, so I'm going to stop there because that one sounded pretty good. Now all I got to do is get the memory. So, you know.
But, you know, I, I've been trying other songs, too, that I want to get to. Um, Coordinator. I get the New York City Coppinger, I guess. I don't know why I just threw that in there. But, you know, if y'all could like, comment, subscribe. I am trying. This is a commercial, by the way. If you want to skip out, that's cool. But uh, the commercial is is uh, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So if y'all could, you know, um, Freya's face over there. Boink, boink, pooper snoot. Oh, and uh, you get subscribed. And uh, uh, when I get to 1,000 subscribers, I want to give away one of my guitars. <laughs> And I haven't said yet because I keep getting new guitars and I don't want to commit to one yet and because by it's going slow, the uh, the subscription, and I, I'm going to do this, but uh, um, no matter what. So uh, when I get there, it's going to, you know, I, I don't know what kind of guitar I'm going to have. So when it gets closer, I, I might uh, pick a guitar and uh, stick with it. But uh, for now, we're just going to go with the BHAG, Big Harry Audacious Goal. Say please, thank you, and always look up. He's there for you. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this and... Uh, Give a little prayer out for Ricky. You know, like I said, you know, he's the one who lost a childhood friend. Dell lost a husband. We lost a, 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 an amazing uh, guitar player for the most amazing band ever. Ricky lost a childhood friend. Always look up. I'll see you then. Peace. <laughs>